Whoa. Our aquatic resident likes to make an appearance once in a while. <gasps> Made it. Oh, did anyone else see that? I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We met in the common room. I'm Everett Clopton. So, care to join me for a bit of high-flying fun? <sighs> Can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Let's hope the Headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Nice to get above it all, isn't it? Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. A bit claustrophobic for my taste. How has Everett flying so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. <laughs> now that's more like it. You sure you're not part Hippogriff? There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the Owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Ravelli, flying tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. Rooms. Dismount here. And where have you two been? Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But Professor, enough. Class is finished for the day. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. Sorry about that business with Kagawa, but you have to admit, those views were worth it. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitch's in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky.
I've not forgotten about our library venture. How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. Good day to you. I require assistance with a delivery and thought you might be interested. Please visit me at J. Pippin's Potions if you'd like to earn a few coins. Please meet me in the seventh floor corridor as soon as you can. I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies, away from prying eyes and distractions. What are you up to now? Revelio. on the dragon fight was the best decision I've made yet. Revelio.
winning those shows. Defendo! Let me in the wizarding world. Revelio. I should investigate. Rebellion. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Ah, oh, new face! Wonderful! Hello, Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. Had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned, thankfully with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare yew weavers available, ember dash, silver arrows, wind wisps too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. You said disrupted trade routes caused you to close, Spint Witches. Terrible it's been. Trade routes reported as unusable. Evidently criminals are overtaking roads, threatening hamlets. I can fly safely almost anywhere. But you try flying with an inventory of brooms on your back. No easy feat. Right then, back to work. If a particular broom takes your fancy, just let me know.
Do you mind sharing more about your brooms? I have a passion for them. Every detail of every model. Take wind wisps, well known for their quality ash handles. You weavers are rare because some fear flying them, likely to do with the u ones darker reputation. Then you add the ember dash, known for its handsome appearance. Working with brooms every day makes me practically giddy. It's one of many reasons I cherish running this shop. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. What are we looking for today? Nice doing business with you. That item is of the highest quality. That item is of the highest quality. That item is of the highest quality. Item is of the highest quality. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. What are we looking for today? Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. Revelio. What are we looking for today? Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. Revelio. Ah, the secret is do the hard work. On in. Healing potions are a speciality here, should you need them.
you're back. Nice to see you again. That item is of the highest quality. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. That item is of the highest quality. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Thanks for stopping by. Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements? Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Rays, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? How long have you had a passion for brooms? Since the moment I saw my first Quidditch match, seeing flyers manoeuvre the way they do. Oh, some people continue to have their doubts about me and my ideas. I hope that won't dissuade you from helping. I know I'm onto something. Why do you need me to report to you on this broom flight? I did try to get Imelda to help, but she has some flying habits and quirks that made her difficult to collaborate with. I need a flyer with no bad habits and the knack for flying. Your classmate Everett said you're a natural on a broom. He's forever in here studying the newest models, almost as passionate about brooms as I am. If your rumoured talent for flying can help you beat Imelda's times, then having you assess the broom will be invaluable. Sounds as if you took Kagawa's class. I did, but my focus on the technical elements of brooms rather than the art of flying drove her mad. She thinks it fitting I run spint witches now. I don't reckon either of us ever pictured me batting away bludgers for the cannons or Puddlemere United. And I find a certain satisfaction in winning over the naysayers who think I may be too young to run this shop. With your help, I can continue proving myself the most knowledgeable purveyor of wizarding sporting goods around. That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Reyes will sort you out. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. I think you're <sighs> can't help but admire Mr. Weeks' enthusiasm. Rebellio certainly never revealed the charm of my potion. In the market for potions, are we? 
Hello, Mr. Pepin. You need help with the delivery? Yes, I do. A capable student such as yourself should have no trouble making the trip to Cambridge. It's just south of Hogwarts. What do you need delivered? Fatima Lawang ordered a few invisibility potions. I used to go myself, but lately Fatima has taken to turning every visit into an argument. Constantly complaining about the quality of my stock. But how can I maintain excellence when she orders so often, giving me no time to brew? If you take this rather irritating task off my hands, I'd happily allow you to claim the delivery fee from Fatima. I'd be happy to help with the delivery. You've no idea how grateful I am, truly. Here are the invisibility potions she requested. Hopefully she won't give you too much trouble. She's a talented potioner in her own right. I dare say I wouldn't mind having a look at her potion recipes one day. What can I do for you today? I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Could it be a Merlin trial? Rebellion. Expelliarmus! 
Thank you enough for all you did to get my carts returned to me. I've been painting and painting. Incredible how such darkness can inspire such beauty. Rebellion. See what's up your sleeve this time, Merlin. Revelio. Incendio. Rebellion. Send you. Ugh. 
Incendio. Valeo. 